What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a Raheem Sterling player review. It's the purple card that you get for completing the Squad Builder Challenge. I think it's called Player of the Month. And yeah, four-star skills, two-star weak foot, 95 pace, 89 dribbling, and 80 shot. This card looks incredible. I have already played the games, so let's get straight into his in-game stats. Right, so looking at his stats, a lot of ridiculous pace stats, as you would expect. Uh, he's also got 91 attack and positioning, 96 acceleration, 93 agility, 94 balance, and 93 sprint speed. Moving on to the skill attributes, 89 dribbling, 82 finishing, 81 short passing being his main skill attributes. He's also got the speciality speedster, dribbler, acrobat, and the traits flair. So how does he play in-game? To be honest, this card is just ridiculous. Like The fact you can get it for free okay probably is going to cost you somewhere in the region of 50 to 100k when pr player prices die down a bit to actually get this card but even if that's what you had to pay on the market he'd be worth every single penny so a little spoiler for the end of the review but he, he was just terrific i'll go through the negatives first because there isn't too many but I, I would say crossing he's a little bit temperamental the two star uh, weak foot he always does favor his uh, strong foot which is a little bit of a downside and um yeah i think just strength in general i would say that's about the only downsides but even with that strength he's got so many other positives that make up for that agility is extremely high so is his balance so if he is getting out muscled sometimes he can't actually fend off the players obviously the, the main thing about this is his pace acceleration is 96 and you can definitely feel that his sprint speed at 93 is just insane he always seems to be on the last man ready to make a run his awareness in game is fantastic as well as his reactions for example if um you you win the ball back there's a highlight where he's running back and then he literally runs forward i pass him the ball from someone who's just tackled and then he runs in the box and he wins a penalty i think he won me two or three penalties and i only gave him one to take so i didn't like up his stats too much uh from taking penalties but yeah he was just a joy to use his finishing was very very good at 82 again it's a bit hit and miss if you're using his weak foot so yeah always try to get him on his stronger foot his vision was good like his interlinking passing oh and by the way look at that team i came up against like for the start of fifa that's ridiculous that's probably like 1.4 million there but uh, i did beat that team 4-1 actually and sterling i think got a goal in that game um although his crossing was pretty poor uh, I did actually get a couple of cross assists, but they didn't register on the card, so I don't know if like the defender got a slight touch on it before the player actually headed it in. Uh, having someone like Jonas up front is a, a, a very good idea with this card, in my opinion. His ball control was exceptional. Like, he just is a, a really, really top card, especially to get for for free like it's crazy so yeah i'm highlighting the pros there as, as you can see i've already went through most of them i think uh, if not all of them well i haven't even said dribbling but that's that's fairly self-explanatory the cons as i say there's only really three two star weak foot strength and crossing so overall i would give raheem sterling a 9.10 his player of the month anyway and value for money 10 out of 10 because he he is essentially free so uh yeah i would definitely recommend you do the three squad building challenges you also get three 25k packs and a 35k pack and they're tradable so why the hell not it's definitely worth it hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace